Hey everyone, welcome to Monster City. Today we are looking at a showcase of these plush voodoo doll looking things. It's kind of hard to open. Yeah, here they are. I bought two of them. Two of the designs that were available on online. On Amazon specifically. And it looks like it may be the wrong ones so far, but I'm still happy to have them. This is the wrong one, definitely. But this one is not. I'm still happy to have this one because either way, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really ruin what I was intending to do with them. The initial one that I got was Perished Pumpkin, and well, I got Mad Surgeon instead. I can see how they got confused up. Uh, since there was Dangerous Doctor and then Perished Pumpkin, they probably just got it mixed up with Mad Surgeon and Dangerous Doctor or something like that, but I'm not really too bummed out about it. Uh, it would have been cool to have uh, this character, but... It would have been cool to have any of these other ones, too. Uh, this one looks really cool. Uh, Peking Pirate. A green Meanie. That one looks really cool. Uh, spooky Skeleton. That one looks alright. This one, too, looks alright. Um, now, this one, I, I really like this one. Uh, this one looks probably the most like a voodoo doll to me, as well as this one, too. And probably this one. I mean, oh, this one definitely, because, I mean, at least with the zipper, since voodoo dolls usually have, like, stitches and zippers and such. But yeah, here's the information. This was manufactured in 2010. So it's a relatively old item. It's basically a Halloween item uh, from Smithies, which makes Halloween-type apparel. Apparently, from what I recall, uh, from just simple Google searches on Smithies, they uh, started in eight, in the 1800s, like 1849, and as uh, wig makers, or something like that. This item is simple enough, you just uh, squeeze it and then bugs come out. It's a stretchable rubber encasing of course, and then you just expand it and looks like there's a fly, uh, look, looks to be like a white grub and a centipede. It's kind of hard to focus because it's so murky and stuff as well in there. But yeah, it's just a really cool novelty item. Really cool to have. It's perfect for uh, videos I like to make with weird zany characters and stuff as well. Here's the packaging, of course. Squeezy monsters, dangerous doctor, fun time, smithies, and then it says like a number to it, like a serial number or something. Collect them all. And there's this one too. Basically the same packaging. Dangerous doctor. Different design on the face. It's kind of like a plastic printing that they have on these characters. And the packaging is relatively simple too, it's just a twist tie that's holding them together. I'm not sure if this is something you'd find at a local Halloween store or not. Probably, but I don't think you'd find it today since... or these days since these items are about 13 years old and just the one below uh, Dangerous Doctor as well. Dangerous Doctor, he looks evil of course due to that um, eyebrow and the uh, direction is the direction the character's glasses are pointing at an anchored down angle and it appears to either be blood or grease on his Face mask. I'd assume blood. And here's uh, what looks to be actually a 
pure white looking fly and a pitch black grub or caterpillar or something like that and a white grub as well. I think there may be a pitch black fly and a white grub in there too. As well as a pitch black centipede. Yeah, the only thing about these characters that um, could potentially happen is these popping. Looks like most of the liquid is evaporated, but these things are still oily. The grubs and stuff inside of them are relatively oily and stuff, but if this pops, then either you can throw it in the trash, or you could take out the grubs and then just wash them under the sink and take this encasing out, and you could also throw that into the trash, or if it looks cool, then you could wash it under the sink as well, and hopefully the oils and stuff uh, disappear. That's what I'm going to do if these ever pop. But I don't plan on like squeezing them often. It's okay to squeeze them just a couple times, but you don't want to do it like a hundred times a day with these because they're so old. And uh, people have, um, I think, squeezed them in the package as well because it's uh, very murky compared to when you... If you were to take these out, the other side would be very shiny because it's untouched, basically.